Welcome to the wonderful world of Mouth Sounds. Mouth Sounds is a guide, a book and a record that will teach you how to dazzle your friends with dozens of vocal sound effects. This record will demonstrate each sound, and with the step-by-step -step instructions of the book, you'll be able to whistle-pop boing and honk your way to social success. I'm your host, Frederick R. Newman, with the Mouth Sounds Orchestra, and we're delighted now to lead you on an excursion into the mouth. Follow along in the book as we demonstrate each vocal effect. We will begin with Chapter 2, Principles of Mouth Sounds. There are three basic vocal principles that will be referred to throughout the book and the record. The first is falsetto, a high-pitched, breathy voice. Listen as the voice glides upward from normal to falsetto. Ah, This is a falsetto voice. The second is the ploid principle. Breathing through your nose to close off the back of your mouth, thump the hollow of your cheek to produce a resonant ploid. The third principle is the palate grind, a gravelly, grinding sound produced in the back of the mouth. <coughs> Chapter 3, Pops, Clicks, Horns and Honks. The classic pop is the champagne pop. Perfect for festive occasions. Be sure to insert just the tip of your index finger. Add to the champagne pop a series of ploits by thumping on your cheek to get the filler up. With the tongue flop, you can be musical. For the slap pop, keep your lips loose and slightly puckered. There is nothing like ping pong pops to get the circulation going. The glottal fry sounds like this. Do the same thing, but inhale for an even louder glottal fry. With triple clicks, you can have anything from horse gallops, to Fred Astaire. <laughs> then you have the basic honk, <laughs> and the goose honk, with just the slightest touch of falsetto break. <laughs> There's the ocean liner blast, <laughs> and the tugboat. Poke out your bottom lip and blow out a low buzzing sound. Now add a strong low hum and change the pitch to produce the tugboat. <laughs> Chapter 4, Animal Sounds. For many of the animal sounds that follow, you inhale rather than exhale to produce the sound. For instance, for the dog bark, instead of saying ruff by exhaling, you say ruff by inhaling. <laughs> the puppy whine sounds like this. For the cow, inhale a low hum with your mouth closed. Then there is the cat. The pigeon coo begins with a simple falsetto, to which a tongue flutter is added. Keep the cheeks very loose for the chicken. For the turkey, first say gala gala in a falsetto, and then massage your Adam's apple with your finger as you say it. Pigs say ooey, and you can do this by inhaling. <coughs> to do a fly, stretch your lips together very tightly and blow out to make a high buzz. <coughs> Cricket chirps sound like this. <coughs> Inhale a low O sound for a frog, <coughs> and then develop your inhaled croak. The lion. And of course, the elephant trumpet. <coughs> Chapter 5, Whistles. On the basic pucker whistle, be sure to keep the small hole in your puckered lips very round. Then try adding vibrato. And tongue tippling. Of course, there's the invisible whistle and taxi whistles, the two-finger taxi whistle, and the fingerless whistle. Follow the steps for hand coups. As you practice, be sure to have an enclosed hollow space within the cup of your hands. Then try Indian hand coups. The double whistle is really two simultaneous whistles from the corners of your mouth. 
Whistles are difficult. They require more than the usual amount of practice, but soon you'll be rewarded with wonderful warbles.